hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to see how to print this diamond shaped pattern using python okay please do not skip this video watch it till the end you will be you won't be able to understand if you skip directly to the coding part okay so here in this figure you can see uh, the indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 8 so this means uh, this figure contains 9 rows okay first let us print this uh, upper half part and then we'll uh, print this lower half part okay okay here at zero throw it is having some amount of white spaces and at first row it is and uh, as you increase as you increase the rows the white spaces are decreasing but the stars are increasing okay at the uh, at third row it has one white space and at second row it has two white spaces and at first row it has three white space and at zero throw it has four white space okay let's try to print this upper half part uh, so here i am in jupyter notebook uh, let me initialize a variable called row and let me take an input from the user okay row equals input enter the number of rows okay if you just leave it like this uh, the input function by default it's going to take it take the input as string you, we need to type cast it into integer type so for that i'm going to give int and place this input function inside the int okay now that i have taken input from the user it, uh, it's time for me to take a for loop for i in range row okay here you need to understand the range function if there is no start value here uh, uh, automatically the range function takes by default as zero okay if the user enters row as 5 it's going to go till 4 it's not going to go till 5 that is it's going to go till 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay let's see uh, what it is going to print if i print just i print i i'm going to execute this enter the number of rows i'm going to give 5 so here you can see uh, the initial value is 0 and it is ending at 4 uh, if you want it to start uh, start the row value as 1 you can give 1 comma and if you want it to end it at 5 you can give row plus 1 i'm going to execute this once again i'm going to give enter the number of rows as 5 there you go you can see the first value is 1 and, and it is ending at 5 okay i'm not going to give this these values i'm going to leave it default okay so range of row it's going to it's going to go till 4 and it, it, it will start at 0 so here uh, before printing a star uh, we need to print white spaces so at 0 row it has 4 white spaces and at first row it has 3 white spaces at second row 2 3 and at third row it has 1 white space at fourth it has 0 white space please do not uh, include these I'm gonna talk about these white spaces later okay so I'm gonna uh, print white space multiplied by how many times so uh, here uh, at 0 through we have 4 that is I can give row minus i or row minus i minus 1 if you want 4 white space or 5 white space okay so I'll just I'll just give row minus i row minus i okay uh, I'll explain you this so if the user enters row equals 5 initially the i value will be 0 and it's going to print how many white spaces that is row minus i equals 5 minus 5 minus 0 it's going to print 5 white spaces and at second iteration i value will be 1 and it's going to print 4 white spaces okay so gradually uh, at the last value the row uh, is going to go till 4 and it's going to print one white space so we are uh, reducing the white spaces first okay first we have printed the white space uh, it is time for us to print stars okay so you can see here in this figure at zero throw it has one white star at, uh, sorry star and at first row it has two so as you are uh, going uh, as you are increasing the rows the uh, the stars are increasing okay so for that i'll give i'll concat it with uh, empty spaces and okay here at uh, this first star is for printing and second star is for multiplication okay 
how many times uh, 0 through it has 1 so initially i value was 0 so i'm gonna give i plus 1 i plus 1 now let's just execute this program and let's see how it is going to print okay i'm gonna give 5 so uh, it is not exactly what we wanted it it is coming similar but it is not exact so for that as i was saying before don't consider these white spaces now here we need to consider that in our program you just need to give one white space over here now let's execute this one more time i'm gonna give five okay there you have it uh, it's a triangle shaped pattern it's it is a, as we expected okay it's time for us now to print this second half part okay so i'll take one more for loop for j in range okay j in range here uh, this upper half part had five rows lower half part has four rows for so for that if the user enters row equals five uh, we need we need to go till four rows okay so for that i'm gonna reduce it by minus one row minus minus one okay so it's gonna take only four iteration now again we need to print white spaces so here you can see there is a one white space and two white space and just a second three white space and four white space sorry guys okay three white space so again before uh, printing these stars we need to print white spaces okay how many times that is row sorry not row uh, j i need to give uh, because we are increasing right so we have one so that is i need to give j plus one plus i need to concat it with stars again here this is for this star is for printing and this star is for multiplication i'm gonna multiply it how many times so at fifth row we need to give uh, uh, four stars okay so that is i'm gonna give row minus one minus j because if you just give row minus one row minus one the row will be five and one is not going to change so it's going to remain constant we need to reduce it so i value is changing so i have subtracted it by i now let's print and let's see uh, how the output looks like it's going to be little little bit of distorted i'm going to tell you why gonna give enter the number of rows as five okay uh, we need to give this space over here uh, it, it's it's still gonna be distorted i'll explain you later so five okay here there uh, it it has to have one more space okay so for that i i need to increase this j plus two because j plus two initially uh, we have given row minus i for that we need to give row minus i minus one then only it's gonna print properly so uh, it's okay uh, it's up to you that whether you want to give row minus i min uh, row minus i minus one or here you need to take j plus one or j plus two okay i'll just execute this and i'm going to give five there you have it this is how you print uh, this diamond shaped pattern in python okay that was a lot uh, practice this code and uh, it'll feel easy later okay all right guys and uh, i hope you learned something new if you like this type of content consider subscribing and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until until next time, take care.